Bob, it's amazing how quickly we rebounded from that cool right. spell. Not so cool anymore. Yeah, not a, near record high today, 87 oh degrees. Yeah, we're back in the heat, uh, especially inland areas. Uh, was nice while it lasted, it though. I enjoyed it. There it could be one good. more little sneak peek of some oh, good. Uh, cooler okay. temperatures down the road. I won't totally give up on it yet <laughs> before we get into our August heat, right? Now, Casey Key webcam today showing some clouds coming in just before sunset, even a few light rain showers, and you can see... Uh, it was beautiful out there across the area. We had some nice photos sent into PIX, PIX at mysuncoast.com. And we always check those out. Here's some uh, right here. In fact, this one from Palmetto. Dennis always getting a good shot. And this one coming from Venice. Kathleen Brunt getting this. And this one from Tara in Bradenton. Uh, appreciate that right there. And not from Tara, but from Tara Golf Country Club in Bradenton. Uh, Kajel, Kajel sending that one in. And this one from Nokomis. A beautiful shot there. Michael Hirschberger and her... His mother, Vera, is watching right now. They always watch the 11 o'clock newscast. Appreciate all those photos. Keep them coming. Warming up. Rain chances are very small this week. Those are the headlines. And it looks like it will be a pretty nice Easter weekend, too. High pressure continues to dominate the weather off the Carolina coast. Now, this high pressure is not budging much, so it's going to keep this system to the west here, which is producing some rough weather well to the west of us. Now, as far as we zoom into the area, you can see we have a few showers offshore winding down. These are pushing off toward the west. Skies are clearing now, and temperatures will drop down to around 60 for inland areas, uh, mid-60s right near the coast. Uh, as I mentioned, a few showers that were around are now simply moving off toward the west and dissipating as the daytime heating is gone. Right now, though, it's 71 degrees, and the uh, dew point temperature is still higher than it has been. It was in the 30s on Friday. Now it's back into the mid-50s. Our relative humidity at 55%. We have an east wind at 14. And the barometer is still pretty high at this time. The high today, there it is, 87 just a few degrees shy of the record high, 90, set back in 1962. This morning's low was at 58. That's uh, pretty close to the normal of 61 degrees for this time of year. And it's dry, and it continues to stay dry, too. And the RPM forecast model isn't helping. Uh, we'll see maybe one or two lone showers like we saw today, late afternoon, early evening. That'll happen on Tuesday. And the same story on Wednesday is that high pressure doesn't budge much off the Carolina coast, keeping all the weather well to the west and north of us with an occasional light rain shower possible in the afternoon and evening. Well, the frontal boundary is producing some rough weather from Texas through Arkansas, up and through Missouri and Illinois tonight. In fact, some uh, severe weather moving through the Chicago area earlier, kind of delaying the game and the festivities there, the Chicago Cubs. You can see that low pressure area heading off toward Michigan now. And up in the uh, upper portion of Michigan, they're getting a rain-snow mix right there. They had some snow over the weekend in Michigan. And then also in Toronto and Montreal, some rain earlier. That is since pushing on, but now we could see some snow returning. We're starting to see that near Green Bay and near Minnesota and Minneapolis, Minnesota. They're getting some snowfall there. Another storm system out west, a rather impressive-looking comma-shaped storm system moving toward California. Going to bring some rough weather there and the possibility of some more rainfall. Temperatures out ahead of that system, very warm, 65 in Philadelphia. Behind it, though, Green Bay at 36, Chicago at 43, Salt Lake City now, 48 degrees, Denver at 40 and 63, Oklahoma City. For boaters tomorrow, the winds will be out of the east, northeast, anywhere from 10 to 15 knots throughout the day. A moderate chop, and the water temperature now at 74 degrees. That was as high as 80 degrees before that cold snap moved in over the weekend. The high tide at 134, another low tide will be at 745. And sunrise will be at 709. Tonight, mostly fair, seasonal, low right around 60. That's typical. And then tomorrow, look for low 80s near the beaches, mid to upper 80s inland, mostly sunny and staying dry. Just an occasional uh, isolated light shower possible late in the day. And that same forecast will continue right in through the weekend and beyond with highs back into the mid 80s.